Jake Satanica, owner and founder of Grandma Allures, prides himself in the fact that Grandma's offers one of the most comprehensive color and pattern selections found in the industry today. Be it one of my favorites, the baby musky or the perch pattern we're using here today, when it comes to needing specific color patterns, Grandma Allures will deliver. Check out Thorn Brothers or Raleigh and Helen's Musky Shop if you can't find what you need at your local retailer. I'll run us right on out, and when I find the end, what I'd like to do, when I find the end, is like to turn the boat, come back around this. If we haven't got anything on these bucktails, because we're running kind of high in the column, mm -hmm. I'd like to go to a crankbait, maybe. Kind yeah, of that's us. that's a good plan. Maybe an Ernie. Yeah, or I'll, a I'll grandma. throw a grandma. Yeah, I'll throw a grandma yeah. for sure. You told me at the dock to put on that perch one. Yeah, it's been a good pattern this year. Those are idiosyncrasies that lakes, you know, they display that people really don't adhere to. There are times that they're on certain bite forages, and sometimes you can catch them on anything, but when it gets tough, like you said this morning, perch has been what's working. Yeah. That's what I put on. So we're definitely right now, I'm just right on your 10, 11 foot mark, and I'm getting shallower, so this cranks out a little bit here, huh? Yes, it does. Yep, just come up. Just come up to nine. I think I tapped weed right there. Yeah, here, let me show you folks what we're, what we're dealing with out here. He has got an absolute perfect little spot here. He's got cabbage and coontail. This is coontail that's living right now in the system. It's green. It's not dying. This is the kind of stuff that the fish will, the fish will come in and find edges of this. This stuff grows in towers and columns. And the fish will come in and use that edge, and when they're not on that edge, they'll break off the deep water, they'll come back in. So it's a great transition area, like we talked about. You got the weed, a little saddle, and then a hump. Great spot. Like he said, classic. Classic spot. Oh, there was cabbage too. I just knocked the cabbage off, see? Cabbage and coontail in there. Both are in there. Perfect combination. This is a pretty good size area. It is. It's a huge spot. Yeah, it is. It could hold a lot of fish. Do you see multiple fish on it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think we're off it, Chris. I'm gonna run. What do you say we go back across it? Sure. I'm gonna go to my crankbait. It's a good plan. Pure perch pattern. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're sliding off the edge right now. I'm not used to. I'm gonna turn the boat back in the wind. Sure. I'm not used to having my rods handy now. So yeah, sometimes you can come out here on a spot like this and bump rock and mm -hmm. there we go. Got one? Yep. Any size to them? Yeah, I can't tell you. I can just tell you it's pretty good fish. And I don't have a lot of hook in them. Yep. I see them. You want to bring them back to me, Bob? Yep, I'll bring them back to you. High 40s. You ready? Yeah, I'm coming. You get to net in the water. I'll bring them back to you. Good deal. Scoop. There you go. Nice fish. On the grandma. Nice. We came around this thing, folks. We're fishing one of Chris's spots right now. Pretty good little cabbage bed in there. We got on the back side of the cabbage and we we're both throwing bucktails and we hit that rock edge. I just asked Chris, I says, is this rock in here? And he said, yeah, it probably is. Put on a crankbait so I could bang those rocks a little bit. That was on the very first cast. On that grandma. Good deal. Good job. You want me to uh here? Got let's some see. Pliers somewhere? Yeah, I got an extractors and stuff up here if you I'm gonna send them on up to you. Hang tight, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we came outside the edge of that cabbage. As soon as we broke, I could see the cabbage tops. Mm -hmm. And you said you had one follow right there. I did, yeah. And she boiled behind you. I don't think this is the same fish. There could be more on there. But as soon as we hit that clear rock, what you've got is a, a cabbage edge that comes down. Then you've got that void area before it breaks into 35, 40 foot. And they'll suck right up there and yep. stay there. This is the first day, folks, in three days that the wind hasn't been blowing 40 miles an hour. So we got Chris in the boat with us today, and we're going to have some fun on some big fish. I hope. <laughs> okay. It's a good start. Yeah, it's a good start. And about 47, maybe. Yeah. What I'm going to do is hold the net here, Chris. I'm going to yep. have you come right down in the seat. Sure. 
Because we're working on the top of the Lowrance here. You got the, yeah. got the net. Got it. And if you just want to hold, yep, stay here. Just get right down in the seat. Right here down you, in the seat. Yeah, that'd be fine. Here you go. Just there you go. Now you got control of it. I'll cut some hooks. Oh boy, did she eat it. What do we got here? Girls, girls, girls. She didn't do much fighting. There you go. No, she came in pretty. Yeah. But they're kind of lackadaisical, I think, because of the because of the yeah, cold water, cold air. I'm gonna come in from the side. I gotta get around. There we go. There you go. I had to get around the webbing on the net. The net is what had her. Okay. Hold that up for you. Stay there, girl. Get out of there. Get out of there. You wanna see her quick? Come here, baby. Got her? Yep. Show her to you. Nice fish, Bob. Yeah, I'd say what, 45, 46? Yep. She's not 47, but she's a nice 45, a nice 46. Fish. Good job, big girl. Let's get her back on one of your first spots. Yeah. <laughs> she ate that grandma, and you recommended perch. I did. It's been a good color. Yeah, she's good fish. Thank you, baby doll. When they go to the 5 0 mark, they get different, don't they? Big heads. Oh, and... yeah. There you go, baby. There you go. She'll sit out there for just a second and say goodbye. Good job. Chris, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Not a like problem. I said, folks, we got Chris in the boat with us right now. We've, we've had Charlie in the boat with us from Pose, and we've had just brutal weather. We finally got a shot. We got a little bit of sun today, but we got calm weather. We're gonna be able to fish some fish. Don't go anywhere. Be right back with more Simply Fishing. Chris has got a couple more secrets to show me. <laughs> <laughs> All right.